welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Risa and this is little Brody boy. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy it and click that subscribe button down below to see new videos from me twice a week at 3 p.m. I have been a little inconsistent with posting. Life has been crazy and honestly, I don't know when things are going to calm down and so please be patient with me. I'm so sorry I've been a little absent but I'm trying to get back into things. Currently, I am hosting a giveaway over on my Instagram account where I am giving away two cases gift cards for $100 each. All that information will be linked in the description box down below, but Casely is the phone case company that I love. This is the one I have on my phone right now. It is so cute and they're super protective. They have so many choices, so definitely check that out. But for today's video, I am doing a new puppy haul, and so I'm going to be showing you guys everything I got for Brody over here. He is playing on my bed right now. In case you didn't know, I did just get a new dog. I got him two weeks ago now. He is 10 weeks old and he is a cockapoo, which is a cocker spaniel poodle mix as you can see he is absolutely adorable and he is my new absolute best friend we've been spending so much time together and so with that said let's just get right into this video all right so I just pulled a few things that are sitting around my room I literally don't really have an order for this video and so just stick around I'm gonna be showing you anything from like his food treats toys miscellaneous things first things first the food that I feed him is a diamond naturals puppy food I'm gonna insert a picture right here because the bag is 18 pounds and I was too lazy to go um, pick it up and so that is what I feed him and then as far as treats go I have the wellness soft puppy bites lamb and salmon recipe he absolutely loves these I actually just ordered a new bag because he went through that one super quick and then I also have this blue bits soft moist training treats savory salmon recipe which he also adores so the next stuff I'm going to show you is kind of like his collar harness leash that kind of stuff and so to start out with this is what I have been using as his like kit I guess for that stuff and so this this leash is from Laylap Pets and it is so cute. It's this light blue color and it's like a rubbery material almost. This is what the brand is up close, but they specialize in collars and leashes and their main thing is that they are all waterproof, which is so nice because I live in Florida and it rains all the time and so we definitely want something waterproof. And then attached to it, I just have this little poop bag dispenser and bag replacements inside. This is from TJ Maxx and literally most of the stuff I got was like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, those kind of stores because it's a lot cheaper than pet stores. And then Brody Boy has a lot of collars and harnesses because he's super tiny and I was struggling to find stuff that fits him. And so I kind of did a little DIY and it's working perfectly. So I've been using this scrunchie and I cut out the elastic and that way I can like tie it and fit it to his size. And so I've been using that as his collar. And then attached to it is just his little name tag. I got this off of Etsy. It is so cute. And the back says, I can't find the way home. Could you call my mom? And it has my phone number so I'm not going to show that part but I am loving the way that looks and he is so adorable with it on and then once Brody gets a little bit bigger he also has a matching collar to his leash and so this is just a light blue color it is super cute and then in here is the matching one also in a lime green color and this is what the brand is one more time Laylaps Pets and so I will have their information in the description box in case you guys are interested and then another collar that I actually picked up from Brody it was this really cute like red and black plaid one it is from Frisco and it just has one of those like snap attachments which makes life super easy Then I have another leash for him and this is just from Chewy it's just this like black and white rope one and it's not adjustable or anything which I kind of like so he can stay nice and close to me I think it's six feet long so it is a little bit longer and so that's why I've been using the Laylops one just because he is a little puppy and I like to have him close by and then attached to it I have this animal planet pets harness which is these pretty blue colors this doesn't fit him yet and so I've just been putting this aside until it does so that was is it for like the collars harnesses leashes I have a few miscellaneous things so I'm gonna pop them in here now the first of which is this brush it's dual sided it is from Chewy and then I also have this little doggy razor and so this is just to shave on his little bottom and honestly any kind of little cleanup but for now because his poops are so tiny they stick to him and it's gross and so I had to get this so I could shave his fur a little bit and so that way it doesn't stick and he remains clean next thing I haven't used yet but I'm really excited to and it is a little dog booster seat and so this is what it looks like on the box and it holds dogs up to 15 pounds I believe up to 12 pounds and so Brody's gonna get no more than 15 pounds so I feel like it'll fit him for his whole life but it's super cute and it's just a great way to keep them safe while in the car this is probably my favorite thing that he has right now one of the two another one I'll show you guys next actually but this is 
a little lightning jersey for Brody and he looks absolutely adorable in it. I will insert a picture right here. Also, I post for Brody on Instagram every single day and he has his own account. It's at Brody.Zafert. So go follow him if you are interested in seeing cute little puppy pictures every day. All right, we're gonna do some walking around now because the rest of the stuff is kind of everywhere and I didn't want to bring it over. But this next thing is one of the things I am most excited about and it is a dog camera. So I'm gonna turn this camera around and kind of explain it for you guys. So this device right here is a Wopet dog camera and what it is is a camera right here and then they have a treat dispenser that comes out of here and it is super cool. This top comes out and you can fill it with treats. So when I'm not home, I face the camera over towards his crate so that way I can always check in on him and I'm going to pull out the matching app now so you guys can see how it's used. Once again, I did say the camera is from Wopet and it's W-O-P-E-T and this is the corresponding app and so I have my camera linked up over here. So it shows you real time everything that is going on so as you can see if I dangle my hand you can see it on the app right there and it's super cool because you can set it specifically to your pet so I haven't done like those little settings yet but what I love about it is that when you're not home you can listen to your dog you can take videos pictures and you can speak to him or her and so that way you can always be around Personally, I don't like to use the microphone unless I am about to take him out of the cage because I feel like I'm teasing him if I do that, but I love that we have the treat dispenser in the middle. Once he is house trained, I can give him little treats while I'm not home, but I think this app is super cool and a great investment, and if you guys are interested in checking out Wopet, I will have their information down below. Also, I did hold on to the box and packaging so you guys could see it a little bit better, but this is the intelligent dog camera with treat dispenser, and this is the device itself and what it looks like. You can see it better here with less contrast but this is the camera this is the treat dispenser button and this is where the treats come out of the coolest thing about this is actually it has a night vision camera also and so when he is crated at night and I hear him wake up I can check the app and see what he is up to in his crate or if he needs to go potty or something just by opening it up and I can see him in black and white and then during the day it is obviously in color all right so we just moved to the bathroom and we are on to the next location of things that I got for Brody and this first thing right here I actually just used on him so it is a little wet but it is just this blue microfiber towel and it has a little paw print on the bottom right there as you can see this is perfect for his little bath time and I take him to the pool with me sometimes and so this is Brody's personal towel so that way it's separate from mine because I want to stay sanitary over here and then to follow with the cleaning supplies I have his grooming and hygiene oatmeal shampoo by paws and pals I was doing some research on like the best shampoos for puppies and a lot of them said oatmeal shampoos and this one was a top rated one and next we also have this Burt's Bees tear stain remover with chamomile. As we know, dogs, when they cry, they get like the stains under their eyes, and I just hate that look. I just don't love what it looks like, and so I wanted to prevent it. And so this says it takes like two weeks to start working, and I've been using it on him for maybe like a week now, and so I'm excited to see like the progress it makes because he definitely has a little bit of tear stain. And then I also have this Nature's Miracle Enzymatic Formula Stain and Odor Remover. This is a holy grail because puppies make accidents. It's guaranteed gonna happen, and so there's no way to prevent it obviously you watch them at all times but there's only so much you can do and so this is what I've been using and it works wonders next up this is his puppy crate I briefly showed it when I was showing the Wopet pet camera right here but this is the one I use it is so old it is this brand I don't know this is what my family used for my other puppies as well back at home so it was passed on to me but what I love about it is that it has a divider in the middle and so as he's a puppy and getting bigger I can make the crate bigger because I was told that when you have a puppy you should only allow enough room for them to like turn around and lay down because you don't want them to make too many accidents and get used to it. And then for nighttime, I just put this blanket over the crate so he knows what time is nighttime. And so when he is crated during the day, I just have the blanket sitting on top like that, but overnight it's covering the crate. I put the jersey on him. Look how cute he is in it. He's like a little hockey player. You're so cute you are. Mwah. So the next category we have are all of Brody's toys. I have literally anything and everything you can think of as far as like different kinds of toys. So the first one I have is this little Nyla bone that he likes to chew on. It is great for his teething. Look at you demonstrating so well. He is precious, oh my God. But I have heard things about Nyla bone and how they're not like great for dogs. And I think it's just the flavored ones and this one isn't flavored so I don't mind giving it to him. He loves it and it's better than biting on my fingers. This was one of the first toys I actually got 
got for Brody and it's like this dinosaur plush with a surfboard and as you can hear the surfboard crinkles like that and so all the different textures and sounds are great for him and he's loving to chew like on the dinosaur's back right there and so he's super cute with this one and this was like the first one that he clung on to when I first got him and he loves it. Then this next toy is one of my favorites. It is this alien rope toy and each of the aliens has a squeaker on the inside and I absolutely love this because I'm a huge Disney fan and I am obsessed with anything Disney and so when I saw this I had to get it. It is from Chewy and I love that it has the squeaker and the rope because I know how dogs love to like chew on rope toys and stuff. He's really into like this texture, it's like the felt texture and he loves chewing on the tops and the sides of the alien and the back of the dinosaur as you can see and so he's really clung on to that. But these are just the toys that I keep in my room and then I have the rest in the living room so let's go ahead and go on over there to show you guys the rest of his things. So this toy I love, it is so cute, it is a popcorn bucket and then it has popcorn in the middle that you can dig for and they have little smiley faces and their squeak toys. He also has a milk and cookies version and this one is like his favorite toy out of all of them the cookies have the smiley faces too and then to keep going with the food he has this zippy claw spiked seltzer and mango he actually just reached for this today for the first time ever and so i was so excited to see him using it but this one is also a squeak toy very loud very annoying so i'm not going to squeak it then just like the alien toy i also have this little mickey mouse ice cream toy and this one is a squeak one also and it's like a rubbery like super thin thing he has been loving this one and unfortunately the squeak is super loud and so I haven't been loving it but I'm glad he's getting some entertainment from it and next we have this little rubbery like squishy ball kind of thing and I got this because I figured he would love to dig his teeth in the holes which is exactly what he likes to do so this one is a great one and then another like teething toy is this one right here kind of reminds me of a baby toy but it's also like rubbery and squishy and it has like some texture to it and then he has a second nylon bone it came in a pack of two and so this one's just a different shape then we have this little Kong chew toy this is like super super firm and dense and so it just has some texture on it he hasn't really grabbed for this too much i think it's a little heavy for him right now it's not a super heavy toy but because he's only three pounds this is probably like a third of his weight and then we have this cute rope toy which he absolutely loves and so any dog likes to see things that are like dangling and so i'll just kind of swing it back and forth for him and he'll play with that but that is all the toys and then i had an honorary mention in there because my dog seems to be obsessed with cardboard and so he gets all of our toilet paper rolls, paper towel rolls, and he just chews on them like crazy. So obviously when they get soggy, I have to throw them out, but obviously I watch him when he chews on these because he can rip them apart and I don't want him to choke or anything, but these keep him entertained so I'm not complaining. And then all of his toys are stored inside of this box right here. It's just this like gray white box. It's you can see the size here compared to my head, but I got this from Shop Miss A and it was literally a dollar on there and so that was awesome and it fits all of his toys perfectly. So I keep it in here and Brody actually likes to jump into this box which is super cute and he'll like grab the toys he wants and I think it's absolutely adorable. So that was it for his toys, but I have a few other things in the living room and on our balcony I'm gonna show you guys. And so first I'm sitting right next to it, his little doggy blanket. This just has little bones all over it. It's super, super cozy and it's like, not that big it's perfect for a dog and so i think it's awesome and i actually cover it over his little dog bed right here which is from tj maxx i believe it was like 13 dollars, super cheap but he fits in this perfectly and then some and so that is great but he does like to rip it apart and there is stuffing in there and i don't want him to ruin it and so i find that instead of digging on the bed he can dig on the blanket and so i just wrap the bed in the blanket so that way he can have fun with that so moving right along this is his little food and water bowl it's just these ceramic bowls on a little stand they're so cute and super like aesthetic and i love the little paw prints in the middle and so this one holds his water and this one holds his food and i feed him twice a day so when I am not feeding him. His extra food actually hangs out over here in this like cute little bin. As you can see, it's like kind of hard to tell with the contrast, but there's little paw prints all over it. The bin has a great seal to it, so it keeps his food fresh. And then on the inside, I just have like a little scooper that I scoop him. All right, so going outside to the balcony, as you can see here, we have this little green patch, and this is his little potty patch. And so in the middle of the night, he's still not sleeping through the night yet, so I'll take him out here, and he'll go to the bathroom, and that way that's his little spot. Just a warning, if you are interested in getting these, make sure you clean them because they reek. I learned the hard way. I thought I could clean it like once every couple weeks. Once a week, if not more than that, is what you need to do. As you can see around our balcony, we have this like fancy material, and that is 
because it's actually small enough where he can fit under the fence and it's really scary because he will kill himself if he goes too far forward and so we have that there and then as you can see here we have some zip ties holding it together and they're screwed into the deck but we love some of the zip ties hanging because he loves to chew on them and so it's super cute seeing him out here but you guys that is everything that I got for Brody and I am so happy I have him still it's definitely been a busy couple weeks which is why I've been kind of absent from my channel along with some other things but I am going to try to get in the swing of things again please just be patient with me because I will be working on it but if you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up and click that subscribe button down below to see more videos from me twice a week at 3 p.m. it might be closer to once a week now but we will see and also if you do want to enter my 5,000 subscriber giveaway all that information is down below but that is all so with that said I will see y'all soon bye guys